just after the World Cup of 2003. On the back of being successful, there was a yeah, there, was, there was a lot to contend with. You know, we came back straight into Premiership season, which you know we all wanted to be back with our clubs. But you're trying to be a professional rugby player. We were having you know the a, a number of accolades thrown at us, at dinners, awards, uh, parades. Uh, there was a lot going on. Um, so by the time we got to the end of Six Nations in 2004, I was pretty worn out. I spoke to a guy who happened to you know, look after the, the fisheries of uh, the River Avon just below Salisbury. He said, well, why don't you come down for a day, have a go, um, I'll, t I'll, I'll teach you how to fly fish. And I've, I just found the, the, you know, the quietness, the, um, the phone wasn't working because we weren't in reception. Uh, just a, a great ability to shut off, really. You're always aiming to try and give yourself some skill. Uh, you'll have seen yourself this morning, I'm pretty adept at catching Catch, catching some of the weed on the sidelines, some of the grass that is in behind us. It's, all, it's quite pesky stuff, really. Um, yeah, so the, there is that challenge to try and perfect a skill and to try and get better at it. Um, but I probably don't have the same pressure on myself that I did in rugby to, to get it right and perform at a particular point. I'm sure when George Cruz arrives and he starts putting a bit of pressure on me and we start having a competition or something like that, things may change. Is that a salmon rod? That's massive. Oh, come on, Andy. Well, I, I, what are you, you catching? Billy, I intend on catching a, a salmon. Oh, he's late. Oh, not, not, late. not. It's like, his oh, fishing, his fishing gear, like his actual clothing, there's a lot to be desired, isn't it? I've never seen him on fishing. Shorts, unless they're on a boat. If this was like a proper, I mean, a nice golf course or something like that, I'd be turned away, wouldn't I? George would have been in Saracens Academy when I would have been in, you know, one of the staff members for the academy. Uh, you know, and just in that process of getting to know players, he and another, you know, youngsters uh, mentioned around their enjoyment of fishing. So I, I took them to a place called the Royalty in, in Christchurch, and so we've we've already spent a day t together in the past uh, pike fishing. I'd be interested to see what his cast is like, whether he's just a big cumbersome forward who just lobs a grenade into the water, or whether he has got any finesse. Where I grew up, there was a coarse fisheries um, outside my dad's house. My uncle likes fly fishing. Uh, I've been lucky enough to, to, to fly fish with Sir Richard Hill. And yeah, it's, it's just something that I guess, I guess if I can get the opportunity to, especially on a, on a, on a beat like this, then um, yeah, I'd, I'd jump at it really. You have your own space. Most places are quite aesthetically pleasing. They look, they look pretty nice. Obviously, if you look at the test, it's an, an unbelievable stretch. Right, George. We're under social distancing here, mate, so we're going to have to keep your nose out of this. Oh, that's always good, isn't it? Looking good, mate. Cheers. Nice work, George. Cheers, Ali. Yeah, he's just he's just an old old wise man, isn't he? Full of tricks, full of experience. He is smiling, so that's fair enough. Um, look, we're we're at one apiece at the moment. So when I sit here in two hours' time and, and let you know that I've caught another three and he's crying in the field, then um, anything on that, Hilly? No, you carry on. I carry on.